Hey everybody, this is Mike with Avidine Tech Support, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to upgrade your software and your IFDs to 10.2.6.1. Now as always, this is supplemental information. Always refer to the latest revision of the service bulletin available through your Avidine dealer. This upgrade can only be performed by an authorized personnel with an appropriate repair station authorization or repairman certificate. This update is going to take anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour, but it is possible that units currently loaded with software versions 10.1 to 10.2 may take up to 90 minutes or longer. So please make sure that you use an external power source to perform this update. If you try to update your software on battery power and the battery dies, the IFD has to come back to Avidine for repair. If you're following along with the software upgrade service bulletin, I'll be referencing the sections listed there. So the material section in 1.15 says you're gonna need an eight to 16 gig thumb drive formatted to FAT32 loaded with the files listed in section 1.15. Again, you can obtain these files from your dealer. Some of your user configuration settings may default back to factory settings, so we highly recommend recording them for safekeeping. With the release of this service bulletin, we have introduced an appendix to make it easier to record configuration settings in maintenance mode. For software upgrades, we don't recommend saving your settings to the thumb drive because when they're reloaded up to an IFD that's just undergone a software update, they won't be accepted by the IFD. So please use Appendix A to record your configuration settings. Now we're going to move on to updating the system in Section 3 of the Service Bulletin. Now remember, if you're uploading multiple IFDs, please only update one at a time and make sure that the other one is turned off. We also recommend using the Run Once file, so pay close attention to the cautions in Section 3.1. You can also do this update on a bench, so see Section 3.2 and make sure power is applied to both connectors. Now we're going to run through the steps in Section 3.3. So, first thing we're going to do is make sure that IFD is powered off. Okay, we're going to insert the USB drive, which has all the files loaded onto it, and we're going to turn it back on. We see here it's booted up into maintenance mode. I've got the run once file, which means that it's loading the software automatically. As you can see, the airplane's moving across, and you're going to see your progress bar moving up as well. So what we're going to do now is we're going to pause the tape, and this is what takes a while. We're going to come back once we get closer to being done. Here we are. So we give it a little bit of time. The IFD has booted back up. We've gone to this page here where it asks if you've backed up user settings, config settings. This is really important where you go into Appendix A of the Service Bulletin and make sure that you've written down all of your config settings. By now you already should have, so you're ready to go ahead and press proceed. So it's going to continue on. Now it continues this process where it loads the 261 software. So we're going to take another break, we're going to come back as the progress bar moves on. So at this point, the IFD's just finished loading 10261. It automatically reboots and it goes straight into system conformity check. Once this is done, you're going to see a message that says your Avidine system is currently running an approved software version. Once you're done with that, go ahead and press proceed. So from here, we go ahead and press proceed. Now you're still in maintenance mode, so step 5 in 3.3 .3 says to re-enter your IFP configurations recorded in Appendix A. That's where you tab over here to the config page, and you can cycle through and verify that all of your config settings are still set. Once you've seen that they're all good, you can go to section four of the service bulletin. Now, since everything was completed successfully with no errors, we go to step three, section 4.1, verifying software load. Obviously, you're still in maintenance mode at this point. Navigate to the status tab, in maintenance mode, press the info line select key until software is displayed. And we verify that there's no items, no checksums that are in a red font or lined out. So scroll all the way down. Everything's white, there's no lines, no red, everything looks good. And we also check to make sure that up top software conforming is displayed. From here, we're ready to power down so we can remove power at this point. 
we can remove the USB drive and we can power it back up. As it powers up, you want to make sure that the system is recording the version of 10.2.6.1. Hit enter. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. Go ahead and hit allow. We're going to push the aux key. We're going to navigate over to the system tab. And we see here 10.2.6.1. Now from here you can go in and you can restore any previously recorded user settings in the setup tab. And that's it. That's how you perform a software upgrade to 10.2.6.1. If you have any issues, contact Abidine Tech Support. As always, fly safe, fly Abidine.